rise for the commencement of tonight's 2023 graduation ceremony and remain standing until directed to take your seat.
Please be seated. Good evening, friends, family, teachers, members of the Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. Kimberly Fraker, Principal Mr. Hall, and our friends and family of the graduating class of 2023. My name is Kayla Daniel Silvers, and I am honored to be standing here representing the class of 2023 as a senior vice president and salutatorian. Parents, today your senior closes one chapter and begins a new one with this ceremony today at the Dalton Trade Center. We have overcome many adversities and now symbolize what it truly means to be a warrior. The class of 2023 is preparing to go off to college, begin or continue employment in the workforce, or enlist in the military. But even as we go in separate directions, we will always be one tribe. We thank you so much for being here today to celebrate this amazing achievement. The word achievement defines our student body. I represent one of many in the senior class who have shown success both inside and outside of the classroom. In the classroom, I am proud of my academic achievements and leadership with our student council. Outside, I made it to the state golf tournament three consecutive years and cheered on my friends as a member of the pep club. In a class of over 200 graduating seniors, I am one of many. There would never be enough time to sit here and list every achievement of everyone sitting here before you today. But every gra gra everyone graduating today has had great success stories with obstacles and struggles along the way. We are growing up before your very eyes and today as we receive our diplomas and walk across this stage. To my family and friends, thank you for all the love and support you have all shown me. I would not be here without you all. I wanna thank my sister Kate, who is my best friend. She is always supporting me and she never fails to make me laugh. This was our first year being at the same school and I enjoyed every second of it. And most importantly, to my mom and dad, who are always my role models and biggest supporters. Thank you for always being by my side whenever I need it the most. I cannot thank you both enough for everything you have done for me, from sitting through long golf tournaments or listening to me write this speech. I am so lucky that I get to call you both my parents. I, along with the rest of my graduating class, want to thank everyone here tonight who have supported us and those who will continue to support us after graduation. This is truly a special day, thank you. I would now like to introduce our chorus director, Dr. Kim Waters, and the Gordon Central Chorale's performance of Love Psalm by D. Meter. Life's a lifetime, save your soul. Life 
of youth becomes the wisdom of the old. We must remember love and once again. We'll learn to live a life we As your class of 2023 salutatorian, I, Kayla Silvers, am proud to address my fellow graduates today about how this ceremony marks the beginning of us growing up. Seniors, what a ride. The class of 2023, we have gone through a lot these past four years. We first walked into the Gordon Central doors with excitement and nerves of starting our high school adventure. However, our freshman year got cut short with the rise of COVID. It was something we'll never forget. From doing dance class virtually with Debbie Mixon, or to having to do reverse parades in the parking lot. Then finally, our junior year, we were back to a semi-normal high school life. We recreated what school spirit looks like with our pep club, and we've supported each other at every step. Now here we are as seniors, getting ready to walk across this stage. Where has time gone? We yearn to be like the high schoolers, going to the big blue pep rallies, cheering on the football team, and spending late nights with our friends. From the time we started elementary school, all we wanted was to be just like the high schoolers that would visit our school. We wanted to grow up. We grew up anxiously waiting for the bell to ring at the beginning and end of each day. We grew up reading picture books, and as we grew up, we moved on to chapter books. Now here we are, closing one chapter of our lives and turning the page to a new one. We grew up learning valuable lessons from the many teachers we had over the past 13 years, many of which ignited values and ideas leading us to be the best versions of ourselves. I will never forget my teachers and coaches for investing their own wisdom and time into my life. To Ms. Connie Worley, who has helped me both inside and outside of the classroom, whether it's learning how to speak Spanish or how to cook with a slow cooker. Thank you for that gift as well, Ms. Worley. You have always pushed me to be a better student and have given me countless opportunities, such as nominating me for Governor's Honors Program. I am so grateful that I was put in your Spanish class, and I will forever miss the love and compassion you have shown me. To Ms. Renee Hughes, I have always felt comfortable coming to you if I needed help with applying to college or with understanding the Mongols. I appreciate all that you have not only done for me, but for every student that has walked the Gordon Central Halls. To Mr. Jonathan Sanderson, or as we call him, Sandy, while you may not have been my coach, I always considered you to be one. I appreciate all the times you have let me help with basketball and when you let me rant to you about golf during first period. I love the mentorship you have brought to me to help me see the big picture of what I want to achieve. You always point out a positive when all I seem to see is negatives. Not only have you touched my life, but countless others. And most importantly, to Mr. Bo Dooley, you became my golf coach my sophomore year, and since then you have taught me valuable lessons on and off the golf course. I know that whenever I need anything, I can always go to you. These past three years have been the best, and I am so grateful that I was able to end my high school golf career with you walking me up the 18th of my last state golf tournament. I love your no-nonsense approach because big girls don't cry, and I promise not to cry during this speech. But even though I'm a big girl, Mr. Dooley, you aren't a big girl, so you can shed some tears this evening. Years of waiting for this exact moment has turned into months, months turned into weeks, weeks turned into days, now only minutes. But before we each walk across this stage and turn to a new chapter in our lives, I encourage each of you to not let growing up scare you, but to stop and appreciate each and every moment. As a great philosopher Pitbull once said, life is to live it, not to let it live you. Graduating seniors, your future starts today, live it up. Congratulations, class of 2023. We made it. We grew up.
And now I introduce to you the class of 2023 valedictorian, Catherine Grace Hughes. Good evening, members of the board, Dr. Fraker, Mr. Hall, teachers, faculty, family, friends, and class of 2023. It is with great honor that I stand before you tonight as the valedictorian of Gordon Central's class of 2023. The journey to this point has not been easy, and it is not something I nor anyone else could have accomplished with the, without the support of teachers, family, and friends. Our class certainly did not have a conventional high school experience, but had one we made our own. Even through quarantines and hybrid schedules, we have accomplished so much and made so many memories. One of the great strengths of our class was how we stayed involved despite the setbacks. We didn't stop performing, competing in sports, and making our mark. I cannot express my immense gratitude to the teachers of Gordon Central. First, I would like to thank Mrs. Ashley Hall. Along with being an amazing teacher my freshman year, she nominated me for Governor's Honors Program my sophomore year. I made it into GHP, and I cannot thank her enough because GHP was truly transformative. I made so many friends, and I believe it changed the trajectory of my life, so thank you. Dr. Waters and Mr. Risto have been huge parts of my high school experience. I probably spent 50% of my time at Gordon Central in the theater chorus room. I've known Dr. Waters since I attended the daycare at Gordon Central. She ignited my love for performing when she let me be in a high school show as an elementary schooler, and I have been performing ever since. And Mr. Bristow has made such a huge impact on me. We bicker creatively over scenes and blocking, and I promise Mr. Bristow, even if you can't tell, I am standing up straight tonight. <laughs> Lastly, Mrs. Connie Worley has had such a huge influence on me. I appreciate her effort in helping her students to succeed in all aspects of their lives. I especially love when she gives me stickers for every 100 I get because I know she truly appreciates my hard work. We share a love of literature, linguistics, culture, and food, especially Trader Joe's. Ms. Worley, tu eres mi amigo por siempre. There are so many teachers at Gordon Central who give up their free time to create opportunities for their students. In a school as small as ours, it is amazing to see so many clubs and activities, and we owe it all to the teachers. I would like to take a moment to thank my parents. At school, I have witnessed their dedication to their students helping in and out of the classroom. They have been amazing role models to me. They are always willing to answer students' questions, though it was a little weird for me personally not to be able to yell out mom or dad when I had a question. I would also like to thank my siblings, Harrison and Victoria. They're almost as busy as me, but still make time to come and see my shows. I love you guys. Thank you to the rest of my family, who is constantly supporting me. And thank you to my family and others in my life who could not be here today. Like my fifth grade teacher, Ms. Taylor, who always inspired me, and my granny, who always believed in me. As Desmond Tutu and Anglican Priest said, you don't choose your family. They are God's gift to you, as you are to them. Next fall, I am attending Georgetown University to major in international politics with minors in theater and Spanish. I have been impacted by all my amazing teachers that I have mentioned to continue learning in these fields. One day I want to work in politics. I know it is a dirty word, but I want to be an agent of change and truly help my community. Whether I am in another country or right here in Gordon County, I will strive to do exactly what I ask of each, each of you to do as well. Stay connected. Stay involved. As warriors, being in a tribe means taking care of your community, whatever that is for you. Class of 2023, we have been one of the most involved classes Gordon Central has ever seen. We have been leaders both in the classroom and on the stage, out in the community or in the field. And no matter where we were, we took on these challenges and overcame adversity to succeed. But it is not enough to say that we have changed our school. Now we must change the world. I charge each of you to find ways to utilize your leadership talents throughout our community, whether it is through community service, volunteering time at your church, or giving back in any way to the community, make a difference to those around you. Be there for others. We are graduates and we will flourish if we stay involved. Maya Angelou said, when you do nothing, you feel overwhelmed and powerless. But when you get involved, you feel the sense of hope and accomplishment that comes from knowing you are working to make things better. Class of 2023, stay involved, make your mark, and congratulations. And now I would like to welcome Mr. Christopher Brian Hall for the principal's address. Thank you, Catherine. Name dropping me all the way. 
It's funny, uh, Catherine was, um, uh, Miss Hughes, her, her mother was uh, pregnant with her when I had Miss Hughes in class. And so I like to think maybe, maybe I had a small part of that. Maybe she heard me in that history class and was just like, no, no, she's saying no. <laughs> Good afternoon, parents, students, faculty, staff, community members, and the Gordon Central High School class of 2023. My name is Brian Hall, and I am privileged to be the principal of my alma mater speaking to all of these inspiring graduates. I'd like to thank our superintendent, Dr. Kimberly Fraker, assistant superintendent, Mrs. Alice Mashburn, board of education chairperson, Mr. Charlie Walraven, and all members of the board for their leadership, guidance, support, and being here today. It is an extraordinary feeling to be a Gordon Central graduate. Being on staff at GC means being a warrior and warriors show love and care for people through helping our students be successful. Our community partners, former graduates, and local businesses also go above and beyond uh, to provide resources and support as well. Gordon Central's tradition is rooted in service and truly symbolizing what it means to be one tribe. I'd like to make a request to our honored guests and our uh, people in the audience and our faculty as well. Anyone here this evening who is a graduate of Gordon Central High School, can you please take a second and stand for us? That's what it means. That's what makes our school so special. We're interconnected through generations of graduates giving back to the very same community that gave us our first chances to succeed. All Gordon Central graduates are special, and these graduates are especially important for me, not just because of their talents, achievements, and successes, but because this is the first class of students that I have the honor of saying I was their principal all throughout their four years of high school. A lot can happen in four years, right? We learned that. Uh, we've been through a lot of changes together, and the events of everything from 2019 to today will forever bind and unite us together as a tribe. For me, four years certainly seems like a long time, but they went by very quickly as well. I appreciate the support and love that my wife, Alicia, has shown me every step of the way. It's that sort of support that keeps me going, just as it does for you seniors. The love and the care and support that your family, friends, and these teachers here today have given are what helped you get to this celebratory moment. Four years also marks watching my son Beckett grow up as a warrior with all of you as well. Um, Beckett was about to turn three when I first became principal at Gordon Central. Uh, he's here in the audience today. Hey, Beck, how's it going? Uh, for the first time, uh, usually this happens at his bedtime. So this is the first time he's ever got to really experience this. And so um, his big accomplishment was graduating pre-K, which um, I think it, he sees now today what graduating as a senior, how much more that can mean when he gets there. Seniors, you have so many accomplishments and moments to celebrate. And while today's a day to energize you about what joyous changes come next in your adult lives, it's also important to acknowledge where you come from and what you've done. You've heard and will continue to hear the plead for you to get involved and stay involved in everything around you. That's where some of the biggest changes and success stories can and will come from. It showcases your dedication, determination, and willpower to overcome. We have great winners and champions among us today in our student body. Our state champion quartet members, including Jude Clance and Tyler Waits, showed off their dedication and amazing talent in every performance. Girls Golf won the Region 2A Championship, led by athletes like Kayla Silvers, who's our salutatorian and Grand Master Checkers expert against Mr. Sanderson, right? Boys basketball included determined athletes like James Hughes and Tyler Hedges, with Mac McDaniel draining shots from near half court. Girls basketball saw players like Asia James and Addie Sisson put in the work and effort night after night. And although Sarah Grace Whittle dealt with adversity during the season, she showed up in other ways as a superlative for most school spirit. Marching band was led by drum major Nathan Clance and included amazing musicians like Nico Gaines, Brooklyn Zufelt, and Ashley West, who did an amazing jazz solo, by the way, with her saxophone. She was sitting in a, uh, I think it was, a, was it a Food Lion shopping cart maybe, uh, during our Anything But a Backpack Senior Day. So if you can imagine, seeing a, a shopping cart come by and just this really awesome jazz solo. Um, Ashley was great at always showing off her talents. We had track athletes compete at the state level as well. Marquavius Yop is still too fast for his own good, and track stars like Yostin Reyes and Arwen Boyle were amazing. 
Shout out to Arwen's leadership as well with the senior prank. Uh, it was very well done and you all showed respect to the campus and to the staff by cleaning up your balloons and plastic wrap. Edna Camposano is another amazing athlete in multiple sports and she was a region winner in throwing discus in fourth in state and, and in her uh, ability with shot putt. She's strong on the outside and inside even if she doesn't always realize it. Soccer saw leaders out of Kendall Kane and sisters Alyssa and Brianna Menchaca as well as the boys team with great athletes like Zeke Parada and Cesar Valencia. We saw the return of many fantastic programs at Gordon Central this year as well. Our competition cheer team returned and senior cheerleaders like Emma Priest, Corbin Bishop, Brianna Naharo, and Kayla Muse were pivotal in our cheer season. Another cheerleader, Lena Wynn, was also our homecoming queen alongside basketball player and homecoming king, Gavin Holmes. FFA returned in full force this year with its chapter president, Hunter Hall, and state degree recipient, Olivia Paget. HOSA also returned with students like Elizabeth Torres Martinez helping with our blood drives in the gym. The senior class is full of leaders as well, like Logan Fuller of JRTC, who plans to follow his family's footsteps to become a Marine. Omar Lara was a leader on the wrestling team, uh, just like Madison Snow showed leadership in softball. Seth Haygood and Peyton Wilson were on the mound pitching as baseball leaders, and Cheyenne Eubanks helped lead our girls' tennis team to state playoffs, and Jalen Marshall was a wonderful leader of FCA. Ow! <laughs> When Parker Chastain got injured and couldn't lead the football team anymore, he became a leader in the stands for the pep club and was our prom king, alongside our prom queen, Haley Moss. I'd like to thank star student, valedictorian, multi-state champion in speech singing in one act, and recipient of a Schuler Award for best performance of a fe uh, featured performer, Katherine Hughes. For her leadership these last four years at GC, she's been a joy to collaborate with and I can't wait to see what she does next. Catherine is one such example of all the talented seniors in the class of 2023. There's artists like Jenna McCarty and Nancy Garcia, SkillsUSA winners like Skylar Hill and Caleb Hogue, welders like Austin McDaniel, technology whizzes like Ryan Kilgore or Brendan Hopkins, or acting and singing stars like Nathaniel Wolf and Kelsey McReynolds. Nathaniel's the same kind and caring hero he often plays on stage and I've never seen someone change into so many different people like Kelsey's been able to do in her shows, all while sporting the most amazing blue and pink hair and her signature frames. Sometimes you're known for superlatives that make you special and uniquely individual. Maybe you're known as the most bashful, like Ava Perez and Yalit Codrington, who are kind and spirited people. Maybe everyone thinks you're just absolutely stunning and beautiful, like Jesus Hernandez Reyes. <laughs> your personalities shine like Glenda Vicente, or your most outgoing like Kaylee West. Be proud and shake your best hair out, Angie Lopez and Dakota Garland. Some of us can't. <laughs> and what, uh, what about people who could be best friends with anyone, like Aiden Long and Allie Albritton? I could go on and on about this senior class and the fun little moments we've shared. Daphne Agredano was always there for a good laugh in the cafeteria, uh, when she wasn't teasing and bullying me. Where are you, Daphne? Let me see. Yeah. I've never had someone come up to me so often and go like, eh, ah, to my lunch tray. Ah, ah. She meant it with love, right? Absolutely. If I ever need to modify my Ford Focus so it can blast music and whistle on my way out of school, I know that Dakota Mulkey's the guy to see. <laughs> Vinnie Guevara taught me some new music genres to listen to. And I aspire to one day be as cool as Leo Heath. Amber Marvel comes up with the most, we'll call them fun conversations to share. And Leela Roberts helps share hundreds of tiny ducks around campus as the other awesome senior prank. I've made great friends with students like Alexandria Rampley or Eli Knox, who's always good for a handshake and a warm good morning. I can't forget about Austin Tucker, who's worked hard and proven to himself just how successful he can and will be and I will miss my gigantic fist bump explosions with Iris Slinker. <laughs> there it is. Seniors, I wish I had all day to go through our amazing moments and memories together. I'm so happy that I was able to share the senior hiking trip at Brasstown Bald, and I'll cherish the senior night we shared at Ratner Stadium as you all got to be kids again for a moment and enjoy a beautiful fireworks show. And just like I'm sure he was there with us that night, 
I know that Mason Fuller is here with us today in our hearts and minds celebrating what we've all accomplished together. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Thank you for making this a fantastic four years and let your graduation today be the start of your next great journey. For Superintendent Dr. Kimberly Fraker, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Gordon Central High School and the Gordon County School System in Calhoun, Georgia, I certify that the students presented May 27th have met the requirements set forth by the Georgia State Department of Education, and I recommend the members of the class of 2023 as qualified candidates for a Georgia high school diploma. Good afternoon, I am Dr. Kimberly Fraker, the proud superintendent of Gordon County Schools. On behalf of the Board of Education for Gordon County Schools, I hereby accept Mr. Hall's recommendation and certify that these students of Gordon Central High School have met all the requirements put forth by the Gordon County Board of Education and the Georgia Department of Education. Congratulations, graduates. Valedictorian, Catherine Grace Hughes. Salutatorian, Kayla Danielle Silvers. Allison Brooke Albritton. Honored graduate, Haley Cheyenne Betterton. Joel. Honored graduate, Joel Diaz. Honored graduate, Arwen Adelaide Boyle. Honored graduate, Edna Meredith Camposano. Honor graduate, Jude Alexander Clance. Honor graduate, Nathan McKinley Clance. Honor graduate, Yelit Amir Codrington. Honor graduate, Cami Taylor Collins. Honor graduate, Itzel Del Carmen Contreras. <laughs> Honor graduate, Jasmine Vanessa Cortez. <laughs> Honor graduate, Cheyenne Sarah Eubanks. <laughs> Honor graduate, Dakota Schuyler. Garland. <laughs> Honor graduate, Jesus Hernandez Reyes. <laughs> Honor graduate, Skylar Lee Hill. <laughs> Honor graduate, Gavin Nicholas Holmes. <laughs> Honor graduate, 
Samuel Lopez Zamora. Honored graduate, Kelsey Marie McReynolds. Honored graduate, Alyssa Isabel Menchaca. Honored graduate, Brianna Nicolasa Menchaca. Honored graduate, Dakota Andrew Morgan. Honored graduate, Kaylee Nicole Muse. Honored graduate, Brianna Alexandra Naharo. Honor graduate, Lina Mivi Wen. Honor graduate, Ava Elizabeth Perez. Honor graduate, Alexis Hope Reese. Honor graduate, Justin Reyes Alvarez. Honor graduate, Adeline Rose Sisson. Honor graduate, Madison Mackenzie Snow. Honor graduate, Glenda Karina Vicente. Honor graduate, Tyler Jordan Waits. Honor graduate, David Michael Weber. Honor graduate, Ashley Dawn West. Honor graduate, Sarah Grace Morgan Whittle. Honor graduate, Nathaniel Norris Wolf. Honor graduate, Emily Taylor Wyatt. Honor graduate, Brooklyn Marissa Zufelt. Daphne Agradano. Estefany Alvarez Lugo. Jacqueline Alvarez Lugo. Alexandra Juliet Avina. Ralph Edward Baldwin, Jr. Joseph Alexander Barrera Barrios. Maria Selena Bartolo Jacobo. Marcus Aiden Sintel Bennett. Ian Joel Bigwood. Florence Corbin Bishop. Ariana Michelle Black. Brian Blanco. Emily Grace Bohannon. Holly Marie Bohannon. Cadence Riley Boyd. Shaylin Danielle Brock. Dawson Chandler Brooks. Blake Chandler Broom. Lexi Cheyenne Browning. Kaylin Grace Burchett. Dakota Jason Buttram. Rachel Christine Buttram.
Jackson Donald Bird. Nayeli Kamano Nieto. Oliver Andre Camano. Kendall Elizabeth Kane. William Justin Callahan. Cadence Cheyenne Ray Cameron. Jackie Thomas Campbell. Brianna Nicole Carter. Kayla Naomi Caudle. Parker Doug Chastain. Gavin Chumley. Shia Imara Codrington. Jackson Isaac Keith Coker. In absentia, Justin Lee Colley. Haven Brandon Colston. Devin Lamar Cook. Evelyn Cornejo Alvarado. Phoebe Ann Geraldine Correll. Brittany Ruby Qua. Summer Nicole Cummings. Brianna Nicole Dawson. Deja Victoria Diskey. Jalen Andrew Donaldson. Matthew Elijah Douglas Edge. Joseph Riley Evans. Hunter Blake Farable. Nathaniel Charles Flanagan. Willow Grace Fowler. Asen Allen Frady. Evelyn Frere Gonzalez. Sheridan Page Franklin. Sandra Ernestine Fry. Logan McKinley Fuller. Mary Elizabeth Fuller. In memoriam, Mason Lee Fuller. <laughs> Accepting his diploma are his sisters. Nico Ellis Gaines. Claudio Galvin Roblero. Angelo Saul Garcia. Nancy Lisbeth Garcia Lucas. Alexander Vladimir Garcia Morga. 
Fallon Kathleen Garnett. Abner Orlando Guardado. Stephanie Guerrero Cruz. Arlene Gutierrez. Hunter Alexander Hall. Braden Lane Hammontree. Ava Lauren Hatfield. Seth Owen Haygood. Leonardo Stephen Heath. Tyler Matthew Hedges. Kristen Lee Hernandez Cruz. Nathan Dwight Hicks. Caitlin Rose Highfield. Caleb Cord Hogue. Charles Brendan Allen Hopkins. Emily Nicole Hughes. James Taekwon Hughes. Jonathan Lee Hunt. Jediah Williams Jackson. Asia Kanaya James. Jaslyn Andrea Jimenez. Cadence Amanda McKinley Jones. Madison Alexis Jones. Michelle Juarez. Giovanni Juarez Sanchez. Joseph Ryan Kilgore. Roykira Essence King. Summer Saba King. Elijah Edwin Hayden Knox. Erin Marie Lagunas. Omar Lara. Jose Julian Lara Hernandez. Noah Lee Leva. Tessany Hope Lemons. Thomas Aiden Long. Angie Yelani Lopez. Vanessa Macias Sanchez. Alan Patrick Mackinson. Matthew Mariquin. Jalen Presley Marshall. Mario Montez Martinez. John Martinez Gonzalez. Amber Lee Marvel. Ethan Hunter Massengill. Jenna Blair McCarthy. Austin Alexander McDaniel. 
Gabe McLean Parker McDaniel. Lacey Lee McIntyre. Jimmy Aiden McMurray. Autumn Brooke McNeil. Caitlin Nicole McNeil. Callista Jalen Miller. Haley Ann Moss. Dakota Brock Mulkey. William Caden Murray. In absentia, Cruz Reyes Nunez. Anna Maria Organista Hernandez. Olivia Ann Paget. Ezekiel Abimelech Parada. Ethan Patino. Joseph Peeler. Johan Daniel Pina Silva. Wesley Blake Phipps. Tabitha Ann Pickens. Desiree Isabel Pina Garcia. Emma Grace Priest. William Lee Pruitt. Alexi Rabanales Esquivel. Elmer Oteniel Ramirez. Alexandria Elise Rampley. Adriana Reyes. Celine Gabriela Reyes. Amaya Marie Lehunani Richards. Kimberly Estela Rios Almadova. Leela Nicole Roberts. Anthony Alexander Robleto. Lindsay Rojas. In absentia, Cassandra Elise Rollins. Kevin Estuardo Rosa. Caleb Austin Samples. Stantasia Lamaz Samples. Manuel Santana. Jeffrey Caleb Sugart. Elizabeth Marianne Slinker. Iris Jewel Slinker. Angelica Valeria Soltero. Eduardo Sotelo. Madison Leanne Springfield. William Brady Stewart. Alyssa Kate Severa. Julian Teresina Rabinales.
Haven Shea Tate. Delena Lynn Taylor. Brizette Turan. Lacey Marie Thomas. Elijah Gray Todd. Natalia Toledo Montez. Lisbeth Torres Martinez. Janaya Lachey Trommel Carter. Herbert Alessandro Trujillo. Austin Tucker. Ashlyn Coral Tucker. Turner. Cesar Valencia. Aiden Marie Victor. Mauricio Vigil Robles. Hannah Luella West. Kaylee Brooke West. Maria Gabrielle Whitley. Jalen Nichelle Wilkie. Peyton Lee Wilson. Marque Marquavius Deshaun Yacht. Kimberly Juarez Zavala. Syke Burns. Ladies and gen gentlemen, I give you Gordon Central's 2023 graduating seniors. Well, class of 2023, look at all we've accomplished. As your student body president, I, Catherine Hughes, would like to thank you guys for entrusting me with this position. I feel privileged to have had the opportunity to redesign student council under the leadership of Principal Brian Hall, and I look forward to what great things the council will achieve next. As a class, we came together from several different elementary schools and survived middle school. Now, finishing high school, I cannot help but marvel at all we've done as a class. There have been many region and state championships, Surviving certain teachers' classes has felt like a championship. <clears throat> Albright. <clears throat> <laughs> Although some days were difficult, they brought us together and made us stronger. We will cherish them. Days come, days go. We try to take the time to let love grow. Don't ignore the sands of time. Just let a little love in yours and mine. There are many things we can look back on as a class and be proud of, like the incredible student leadership that revived the pep club and renewed our school spirit. The qualities we've shown, like leadership, hard work, and perseverance, will be beneficial in the next stages of our lives. Within this audience before me, there are future healthcare professionals, engineers, teachers, artists, welders, and more. Although Gordon Central has been our home, we will be departing to places around the country as we go to college, join the workforce, or travel. But we are all connected at this moment as members of the tribe. There will be much change and growth occurring now and in the future. One of my favorite songs by Joni Mitchell says, and the seasons they go round and round, and the painted ponies go up and down. We're captive on the carousel of time. We can't return, we can only look behind from where we came and go round and round and round in the circle game. Change is always difficult, but also necessary for growth. I don't think any of us are leaving high school the same as we entered, and that is totally okay. 
Going forward, we get to experience the terrifying luxury of change because it makes us who we want to be. That's what I challenge you all to do. Learn new things, experience new places, and look back on these memories with love. Graduating class of 2023, you may now turn your tassels. All right, we'll now, if you'll please rise for our alma mater. Families a chance. We're gonna call it out on three. We're gonna do that big throw so that everyone can get a picture. All right. So I'll go one, two, three. Congratulations. We'll throw in congratulations. Ready? One, two, three. Congratulations! Thank you all so much for coming out today. Our graduates, if you'll please wait for them to leave. Uh, they'll go through their procession first, and then you can accompany them outside. If you'll please watch, we'll now do our procession. Thank you all again so much. Have a great day, and go Warriors. Thank you, class of 2023.
Thank you.